Well, in theory, I'm going to be uh, upgrading my primary server here shortly. But uh, first, I wanted to test and see if it'll work out. And in front of the camera here is an R630, 730, <laughs> R730. Um, honestly, this chassis would be good enough for what I'm doing. But I'm kind of eyeballing an R730 XD. Really don't need it though. <laughs> but um, if anything, it'd be nice to get a replacement Riser 3 for this that was 16x compatible. Um, this was featured in a previous video where I put in the uh, NVMe adapter card so I could put some NVMe drives in this and see how that would work out. So, what I need to do now is install this flash drive, which I'm going to put um, ESXi on. Also, this is going to get a Tesla M40 with one of my custom made power cables. And this will technically be the first time I've tested one of these cables on an R730 but I have no reason to believe they won't work because they're wired, well, at least the riser end is wired to factory spec. There we go. I'm worried for a second. <laughs> Let's have a little, a little bit of a tricky moment there getting it lined up right. All right. So this chassis pretty much the same as that's different um, the R720 some minor differences but I don't think any of those differences will matter from a power cable standpoint should just be business as usual alright I do notice that this little uh, retention bracket is a little different in design. I don't know how I feel about this new design. It's a little more difficult to work with. There we go. All right, I need my cover. And I do need some drives. I'm being lazy. I'm going to do three of these uh, 146 gig SAS drives and a RAID 5. Only reason I need these is because I need something I can point TrueNAS to um, for a boot drive. Otherwise, I'd have to use one of my NVMe drives. Not that I need them. Uh, all, but I do want to see what the performance is like with this. And. Uh, four NVMe drives and uh, probably a RAID Z, I think it'd be a Z1. I think Z1 gives me one drive parity. Turning on. Now, one thing I'm not certain about is um, oops, there we go. Whether or not this will play nice with the video cards. Um, the R720 didn't seem to care if it had the wrong power supply. And I don't have any reason to believe that this is going to care either, to be honest. I do think it's going to have some life cycle stuff it's going to need to do, and I'm going to have to set up the drives though. Uh, control R. Alrighty, that's not what I want. Um, dun, 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 clear config, and uh, just to clear the foreign config. There we go. Create new virtual disk. New RAID five. Okie dokie. Okay. 
We're going to fast initialize this because I don't care. Uh, there we are. Minor changes. All right. We'll admit that was uh, a lot faster than I thought it'd be. I don't know if life cycle is going to have to do some reconfiguration now that that uh, um, Tesla card's in there. Also, not that it matters, but this BIOS version that is on the server is actually out of date now, so I should probably update that just so I have the latest. Unfortunately, I'm going to do it the wrong way. Well, not the wrong way, the lazy way. <laughs> and uh, I'll put my Windows drive back into the server and boot to Windows. But this is more proof of concept. Um, I don't really have any good reason as to why I want an R730 XD chassis. Um, I'd have to double check my utilization, but I believe on the 13 terabytes of RAID 50 storage I have, uh, I want to say I'm probably using like 4 terabytes of that. So I don't feel like I'm going to need like an upgrade anytime soon. Because what I'm probably going to do is that uh, NVMe adapter card that's in there. Right now it has 1 terabyte drives, but those are going to get repurposed and put in the laptops. They were just my test dummies before I invested in uh, probably two terabyte drives. Um, and, and really, with the uh, NVMe card, there is no good reason to have... Eh, I don't know. There's some good reasons. Oh. <laughs> Let's see... F11. Fans in this are getting a little angry for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, uh... Anyways, on the NVMe drives, I don't really have... don't really feel I should have to worry about redundancy so much because they'll be getting backed up anyways. But the NVMe drives are going to be lower quality than the Intel SSDs that I have. Because I'll either be running like some Samsung drives, or I may cheap out and get the Crucial P3 drives. It's just, I don't like the Crucial P3 drives because their endurance is so low. And it's not a matter of needing the endurance, it's just, if it's my own stuff, I'd like it to be bulletproof. Uh, which is why I'm running those Intel S5400 drives, or no, no, S4500 drives and a uh, RAID 50. Uh, let's see, this one is what I want. I may have to reconfigure the BIOS in this to get it to work with uh, ESXi. Should be a default BIOS setting, so. Other than the PCI Express bifurcation. Um, being set up for slot four, I think it is. <coughs> there we go. One thing I am doing that's debatable is installing ESXi7 on a flash drive. I I forget who it was, but I know one of my subscribers told me that uh, 7.0 was recommended to install on SSDs. So that's where it'd be beneficial to have uh, R730 XD because I would use the two back bays for my uh, ESXi boot drives and I'd have those in a RAID 1. But, uh, yeah, since I don't want to give up storage space on this, I wouldn't be able to dedicate a uh, SSD to the boot. So I'd be booting off the flash drive. 
Um, I could buy a dual SD module for this as well, like I have with my other R720s in my rack. But I think with the money I'd have to invest in upgrading this the way I want it, uh, it probably cost me the same to just buy an R730 XD. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> problem is the R730 XD I'm looking at from uh, East ISO on eBay has iDRAC Express. So that means if I buy an R730 XD, I'm either going to have to pay a bunch of money for one that's fully configured the way I want it, or I'm going to have to buy one that's a uh, bare bones config and then um, play musical parts to get the actual config I want. So, I don't know. I have mixed feelings. But I haven't had any luck finding the parts I need to do a chassis swap to convert this, um, oops, this 8 SFF Bay R730 to an R730 XD. So, yeah, that's a bit of a bummer. Um, but I think I'm going to pause, get something to drink, and uh, work on getting ESXi installed, and I'll be back. Well, you'll notice it's a little bit louder in here now. And I have all the virtual machines set up, and just did it kind of quick and dirty. Um, what I wanted to do was put a virtual machine on TrueNAS, and then... I wanted to do a drive speed test on the TrueNAS virtual machine, but there's something I have set up wrong that's preventing me from doing that, so I don't know what to do about that. It really doesn't matter. I was just kind of curious to see how hard I could hit the uh, NVMe drives. An interesting quirk, well, not really quirk, I think it's running as designed, is I cannot force the fan speed on this any lower than 60% which is around 12,000 RPM and uh, compared to my R720 it's a lot louder because the R720 is running the fans at around 8,000 RPM in that 60% setting but on a positive note this server can detect my GPU's thermals because if I launch Furmark here you'll see the fans are getting kind of angry and the glare on the screen is making that kind of hard. So the temperature is slowly rising, and so is the fan speed. <laughs> so, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, having NVMe would be nice, but at the same time, the fan speed is going to get on my nerves. So I'm going to have to do some tinkering with this, and hopefully follow up with another video. Once I get this all figured out and dialed in, though, the plan is to upgrade my R720 to something a little more powerful. But, uh, yeah, I think that's where I'm going to cut this video off. And uh, we'll see what happens. I am going to close this. But, good to know that my new Tesla GPU power cables are working as intended. The only thing that, these aren't causing a problem, but what's going on is the server's getting upset because it knows it's going to need more cooling due to the uh, GPU being in there. So I'm kind of wondering that since these R730s are a little bit more fussy, if uh, maybe doing unsupported configs is a bad idea. But only time will tell, I guess. Um, I think the worst thing that will happen is the fan speed will get out of control. Because, uh, here's the iDRAC right now. I got to zoom in. There we go. Um, yeah, those fans are a little spicy. <laughs> I don't know what power draw is looking like right now. Looks like we peaked at somewhere around 300 watts. Uh, 
Let's see. 500 watts, wow, okay. I might need to get 1100 watt power supplies to keep this server happy. Um, I don't know. I got access to 700 watts, basically. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to play with this some more and uh, see what I can do. If I can get this into a stable config that's a little happier with life, um, that's the goal. But in the meantime, it'll be a work in progress. But hopefully that's interesting and thanks for watching.